Welcome to Unsung, 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 Pittsburgh's premier nonprofit news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. In this episode, we're spending one of the last remaining nice days outdoors before the producers start making me do this in the cold. It'll happen. Hope you enjoyed meeting Juice 412. We're always on the lookout for interesting people doing interesting things to make our community better. This is a jam-packed edition of Unsung. We're headed to Rankin to hear about our transportation issues just as debate is about to heat up in Harrisburg again. We also check in with Butterfly Bandits. You might remember meeting them in a previous episode. They had a big happening at PNC Park over the weekend. And lastly, this is our last episode before DOG Day. That's right, it is once again time for Day of Giving on October 3rd. So, let's get right to it. Good dog, good day. What day will it be for you on October 3rd? From 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., your donation to participating nonprofits can go a little further with the Pittsburgh Foundation's 2013 Day of Giving. Here's the details. The minimum gift is $25, and there's no limit to the amount of money you may give to each organization. The foundation will divide a total of $750,000 provided by the Pittsburgh Foundation, the Jack G. Buncher Charitable Fund, the Colcom Foundation, and the Robert Waters Fund, among the participating Allegheny County nonprofits. The match pool for Westmoreland County organizations is approximately $100,000. Up to the first $1,000 of every gift per donor per organization will be counted towards the match pool. You may make a donation to as many organizations as you like. The match is capped at $1,000 per donor per organization. For example, give $1,000 to Animal Friends and $1,000 to Animal Heart both gifts count towards the match pool. Give $2,000 to Animal Friends, only $1,000 counts towards the match pool. Only Visa and MasterCard will be accepted. The credit card processor charges a nominal fee per transaction. The Pittsburgh Foundation does not receive any fees. To research a participating nonprofit or see a full set of guidelines, please visit pittsburghgives.org. October 3rd could be a day of ordinary, or it could be a day of dedication, or progress. It could be a day of ingenuity, or one of growth, or vibrancy. It could be a day of community, a day of giving. For Unsung, it will be a day of celebration. Our crews will be out and about reporting the hourly numbers and talking to nonprofits and donors at various locations and events throughout the area. We hope you will come down and join us. We will publish our broadcast schedule at pittsburghgives.org closer to the day as well as a link to watch some streaming video. The Transit Advocacy Coalition conducted a media event at the Kenmar Bridge to highlight the need for comprehensive transportation and transit bill during this legislative session, which is set to resume on September 23rd in Harrisburg. Unsung found out just how important this issue is to our region. This is the uh, Kenmar Bridge. It straddles the line between Swissvale and Rankin, Rankin being one of the poorest municipalities in the state. Uh, median household income is below 20,000. Uh, the bridge has been weight restricted for a very long time. Uh, the weight restriction was lowered to six tons uh, in uh, the winter of this year. It's dilapidated. It's putting lives in danger. When we look at the fact that the busway is right across the way, it's a lifeblood to our community. And the only access you have to Rankin is to cross this bridge. Uh, and the sidewalks are closed. Um, this is a very heavily trafficked bridge for cars, buses, trucks, pedestrians in particular. We're right at the end of the eastern end of the uh, East Busway. Um, and uh, from a mobility perspective, with a lot of affordable housing in this area, uh, getting to the bus is 
a challenge to say the least for people living in this area. I've pastored here in Braddock, not in Braddock nine years. I know 70 years it's been like this. If you look at the rust and the decay on that bridge deck, it didn't happen yesterday. We're talking probably decades of neglect. The walkway was put in by the borough after the historic sidewalks were closed. Uh, it's unsafe, it's dark at night. Um, a lot of people take their lives in their hands quite literally once they get to this side of the bridge trying to cross to the busway because the cars coming up on the other side really can't see you because of the slope. It, the, uh, the argument is very clear to us. People ahead of, ahead of money. People's lives are endangered every hour. I think as you, we stood here today, we've seen mothers and fathers walking with their babies. We've seen those who are in wheelchairs who do not have access. The truth of the matter is, this is an issue that needs to happen for the lifeblood of the people in our community. That everybody has to walk through the little sidewalk that's in the street and it's only protected by a, a wire fence and it doesn't hold there's a brick barrier there but it's not enough room for a child to go with a stroller or a parent to push their child in a stroller through. During the summer when Kennywood's open literally you have a ribbon of cars from here all the way back to the parkway. Uh, the weight limit on this bridge is uh, six tons. All you have to do is park four cars and you will when Kennywood's open. Four cars will get stopped here because of the traffic flow. Why are we waiting for a disaster to happen? It has happened in Minnesota. We do not want a duplicate of that happening here in Pennsylvania. Senate Bill 1 is our opportunity to begin to retard some of that decay that's happening in our community. It really designates funding for mass transit. It designates funding for infrastructure and bridges. This is a major artery for the Mon Valley. And uh, the Mon Valley has enough problems that it's dealing with in terms of blight and abandonment and uh, stranded individuals uh, to have this bridge in this condition and to be at the point now where you can't even take a bus across it. It takes 15 minutes for a bus to basically do a U to get back to the busway uh, is a serious hindrance to any sort of revitalization that might occur in the valley. We stand uh, with the residents of Pennsylvania for adequate transportation funding and we are urging uh, the House to pass Senate Bill 1 in the fall and we urge everybody to call their legislator to tell them. If this were happening in the homes, in the community of Governor Corbett or, or Terzai or any of our representatives, it wouldn't be here. Unsung was happy to assist Butterfly Bandits with a national PSA that made its debut at PNC Park as the Buckos chased the Central Division crown. It was an awesome example of raising awareness for a cause from the grassroots level. The American Cancer Society predicts 60,220 new cases in 2013. Thyroid cancer is the fastest increasing cancer in both men and women and now alarmingly with adolescents. Thyroid cancer is more likely to occur if you had a family member who had thyroid cancer. The risk of reoccurrence can be as high as 30%. Research is needed to find a cure. The 2013 Lawrenceville Gourmet Spaghetti Dinner, benefiting the recently opened Bernard Dog Run, will be held on Friday, October 4, 2013 at the Team Search Temple in Lawrenceville. Information is available at bernarddogrun.org slash spaghetti dinner. October 7th is Stomp Out Bullying Day. You are asked to wear a blue shirt and join the fight to help stop bullying. No reason is a good or acceptable reason for bullying. So, let's do what we can to stop it. For more information, please visit stompoutbullying.org. You might have recognized story tags and Twitter handles after our stories. We invite you to continue the conversation by tagging the nonprofit or using the story tag on Twitter. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter at PGH on video or hashtag UnsungPGH. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghunvideo.org as well as video and audio versions on iTunes, 
and YouTube. Got a nonprofit you think is cool? Let us know why, and you might find yourself here on Unsung. You can email those ideas to Christopher at WhitlatchC at PGHFDN.org. Once again, thanks for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. In